DIYers, what's going on? Mike Boars with the Mike Boars channel. Thank you for watching. In today's video, we're going to go outside and install screens in all of our weep holes around our entire brick house. Let's get started. DIYers, here we are at the Craftsman Workstation, and before we head outside to install the screens in the weep holes, what we'll do is we'll take a closer look at them. To a closer look, DIYers, we are excited about this project. This is our do-it-yourself grip tape for our skateboard, and you can see the orange and orange trucks. That's going on the white board, and on the back side of that black board, we have green and black do-it-yourself grip tape. We will leave links down below in the comment section as well as the description section on how to build your own skateboard. However, here are the tin snips. Very, very important tool when cutting the weep hole screens. And you won't have to cut them all, but maybe a possibility that you will cut a few of them. Next, I set three screens in different positions. And again, very thin aluminum. Down below in the comment section as well as the description section is a link on where to purchase these screens as well as these cutters. Again, a must have. It will make the project much more friendly and easier. Let's do some measurements real quick. As you can see, about two and three quarters. Measuring this way, just over two inches. But again, these are compressible as you see here. And in regards to the gap, uh, about two and a half inches. At this point, all of these screens are back inside the box. And before we go outside to install these, let's talk about the best time of the year to install these screens. And we recommend installing these before the warm weather turns to cold and the outside critters are seeking warmer places to live, aka your house. So again, summertime or just before maybe the end of September or early October, again, before the warm weather really gets cold and all those critters and bugs are trying to get in through the seams of your doors or any other place they can get in. DIYers, we are outside now and it is a bit windy. I apologize. Unfortunately, that's just what we're dealing with today, as you can see. And we poles. We are going to use those little screens and insert them in all of the weep holes to basically keep out larger critters such as birds, maybe snakes, frogs, mice, rats, anything that can actually create an unfriendly odor if trapped inside and can't get out and end up dying. You don't want that. And we've got 122 weep holes around our entire house, we counted. As you can see, Coming back this way to the walkway and just picked up our pumpkins for the season. We will carve those here in a few days, turn those into jack-o'-lanterns, and cook and roast the seeds. Yummy yum. And additional weep holes, as you can see, that's kind of a big one. And I do want to show you one thing. On this portion of our house, where the concrete basically meets up with the brick exterior wall, the way that the masons did these, Check this out. It is half mortared or about an inch of mortar up from the concrete. So again, that is on purpose by design by the masons and shifting to the left. Again, as you can see, half of it is mortared in. And again, that is by design. So we will have to make cuts to the weep hole screens or covers in this section. And that's not a big deal. We will show you that. In position now, I've got a larger weep hole and a smaller weep hole. I wanted to show you the difference in how to install these little screens when dealing with a larger weep hole than a smaller weep hole. And again, all you have to do is basically compress as you see here. And as you compress it, you can shift it in to the hole as shown here. And basically what I'm doing now is coming up top, compressing the top, pushing in, coming to the bottom, compressing, maybe the middle. And I just work that back and forth, as you see here. And it will get to a point where it becomes very difficult to compress by hand. And from there, you can either grab two flathead screwdrivers or needle nose pliers. In our case, we are going to use two flathead screwdrivers and push in and use our thumb to push it in, as shown here. And at that point, you can give it a couple taps with your hand. At that point, I'm pretty satisfied with that. I'm now going to shift over to the thinner or more narrow weep hole. And same thing, just compress the weep hole screen as shown here. And I'll use one hand on top, one hand on bottom. And I'm going to come in at an angle like that and really get that bottom portion in and then come up top 
and do the same. Compress and shift in. Come back down to the bottom, compress, shift in, back to the top, and back and forth until you can no longer do it by hand, which is right at this point. And you can try the needle nose plier method from here or the two flathead screwdrivers or apply some friendly taps. And as you can see, because this is aluminum and very easy to bend, as I shifted this screen in, it began to shift and bend with the relation of the mortar here, which is kind of cool. Coming to a close up and we will start with the larger one as shown there. Check that out. That goes all the way in there. And again, it is going to keep the larger critters out of these holes, which is a good thing. And check that out. Again, the mortar basically helped bend that screen into position how it should be. Pretty neat. And as you see, extremely friendly to install. Taking a step back, let's go to the opposite side wall. And I want to show you one thing. Inside here, you can see basically a bit of mortar buildup. And that will make it very tough for us to get those screens inside in a friendly manner. So I'm going to show you what you can do to remove that internal mortar. Go ahead and grab yourself a very thin flathead screwdriver as shown here. Insert it in and basically begin breaking away that mortar. As you can see, it's breaking away very easily. And for certain areas, you can tap the base of the screwdriver with maybe a rubber mallet to give you better jolting power to break away that internal mortar. To again, clear up this weep hole to allow you to install the brand new screen in a much friendlier manner. Coming back inside to a view after I broke away several bit of the mortar to again allow us to easily slide that brand new screen in place. Much better. As you can see, a lot of mortar came out. Big chunks, check that out. I set the camera back. I wanna show you two things. I'm going to install a screen into that hole. And I'm going to show you basically how it looks. And I also want to show you how to remove it in the event that you want to pull it back out. Again, take that flathead screwdriver, carefully come in from the top, and basically go down, as shown there. Comes out very easy. Now, in the event that you slid it in the opposite way, it would not come out as easy as that. So again, make sure you install these properly. Compress, backside, push in. Couple friendly taps. And again, I still have room to pull that back out on either side, but again, I want that in there. And there it is. To the next we pull, and again, compress the screen and simultaneously push it in. Come down to the bottom, compress, push in, top, compress, push in. And if you get to a point where you can't push it in any further, in the event that you don't wanna use your hand to tap it in, you can revert to a rubber mallet. However, use extreme caution when using a rubber mallet to push the screen further into the weep hole gap. Rubber mallet only, not a standard hammer. And a couple friendly taps. Do not hit it hard. If you start bending it, stop. You do not wanna damage this screen. And basically you can hammer it flush where the rubber mallet portion itself is flush with the brick and it is not allowing you to hammer in that screen any further as shown here. Again, use extreme caution at your own risk when using a rubber mallet. But if you got a hundred plus of these to do, hitting them by hand will get extremely annoying and may cause harm to your hands. So be careful on that aspect as well. You don't want to hurt yourself. DIYers, we are continuing on. We are now at the section where I need to make cuts. Again, the mortar was purposely applied in the weep holes as shown here. And some are an inch high of mortar and some are basically right at the halfway point of the weep hole. So this again is where I need to make cuts and I'll show you that now. Camera now in position. I'll set the screen to the left of the weep hole. And as you can see, again, comes up maybe about an inch from the concrete and we need to make our cut accordingly. So what I'll do is I'll place the bottom portion of the screen just above the top part of the mortar and I'll kind of get a good idea on where I have to cut. So I'll pinch that part right there. I'll grab the cutters and make my cut. 
And again, DIYers, these cutters are amazing. And make sure you keep your fingers clear as you cut. And as you can see, I'm cutting in the dead center portion of an aluminum strip. And that's why these cutters are amazing. And I'll come to the opposite side. And I'll cut the exact same spot. There we go. And from here, you have very jagged edges. Be very, very careful. I'll even carefully cut away a few of those jagged edges. Next, take a second or two and compress the screen. And bottom part in, come to the top, compress, push in, bottom, compress, push in, as shown there. And some friendly taps with the rubber mallet. DIYers, check that out. Again, as you just saw, it only takes but a few seconds, maybe a minute tops. I like that. Taking a step back and what we're going to do is now direct our attention to above our window. And in most cases, you will need to make cuts above the window. Up on the ladder now above the window to the weep holes and DIYers on the ladder, just be careful. You do not want to fall. Same technique, compress the bottom portion, shift it in, compress the top and do your best to shift it above the window frame as shown here. And again, very friendly taps with the rubber mallet. And to a close up, as you see here. And coming over to this one, check this out. Look inside there. Check that out, hole on either side. And maybe even down. So a mouse, a snake, a frog, any real critter can get inside there and who knows where it will go. Yikes, let's get that screened. Screen in hand, same technique. on there. Down off the ladder, taking a step back, and you can see the four weep holes above my window. That took maybe about three minutes. Again, much better. As we continue on, you can see my ladder in place, and I've got a lot of weep holes on this section or side of my house. Again, above the windows, above the double doors, and a line of weep holes all the way across to the opposite side of that wall and that's going to be time consuming but it will pay off in the end i'm not going to bore you with that hopefully this helps diyrs hey do us a favor below the video you will see that thumbs up icon click on that like the video subscribe to the channel definitely ring your youtube bell that would be very helpful to us we would really appreciate it thanks again for watching and again i do apologize about that wind